Hey guys, welcome back. In the last episode, I showed you how to assemble your basic Chinese cooking starter kit. Uh, in that episode, we show you all the ingredients you need to sort of make 80% of all the dishes of Chinese cooking. And in this episode, we're going to make a steamed fish together with a steamed fish sauce uh, using those ingredients uh, listed in the last episode. So be sure to watch it before you come back to this video. Enjoy! Alright, so let's make the steamed fish sauce, the basic steamed fish sauce. We're going to use some ginger. I'm not going to peel that because I'm not going to eat it. It's just for infusion. Cut them uh, somewhat slices. Ginger. Mm, couple of tablespoons of soy sauce. Garlic, smash of garlic, garlic, um, a bit of uh, sesame oil, just a touch. And a bit of oh shit, and a bit of sugar, and a bit of oh shit, and a bit of sugar. Um, the key thing about Chinese cooking is all about the balance of sweet and salty. So you find more of that now. You put just a touch of sugar just inside just to get the whole balance right. You want to taste it mostly salty, but just a touch of sweetness coming from the. And just a small tablespoon of hotel jiu. As I mentioned before, both ginger and hotel jiu is supposed to remove the fishiness and the pockiness of things. Touch with that. And oh, I forgot. Um, touch of what? White pepper. Salt and pepper, right? To do and that's good. That is our fish steaming sauce. Uh, what, what happens when you steam fish is that the fish will release all the liquid and then I want that liquid to become the, to sort of dilute the sauce for this. So this has to be reasonably salty because it's going to be diluted with the fish juices. Okay, give it a taste. Mmm, salty, sweet. And I'm gonna leave the ginger and garlic that they infuse so they get more flavors. You can just do this about 15 minutes before I steam the fish, and it's perfectly fine. Yeah. And alright, so I got a nice grouper for tonight's fish. Nice, beautiful, big piece of grouper. Uh, the thing about steamed fish is that you need to cook it evenly, and I think any, if any fish that's thicker than 2 cm. 2 inches, thicker than 2 inches, you just want to give it a few slices so that it cooks more evenly. Um, if it's larger than that, I think you want to do one of those um, butterfly fish, but I don't really know how to do it. Um, you can watch a Lucky House YouTube video for that. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to give it some scoring. Some light score so that it will cook evenly. Go. and you just want to give it a good rub with salt a bit of salt to season it inside and outside and the thing about salt is that it sort of uh, firms up the flesh a little bit and it gives a nicer bite so always Marinate the fish with a bit of salt for like 5 or 10 minutes before you use it. Okay, just gonna leave it here to rest. A few slices of ginger. I just wanna put this ginger just inside the body just a bit. I know 
also a few pieces uh, on the fish. So that way it steamed the, the flavor of perfume through. And once again, ginger sort of removes any sort of fishy flavors if your fish is not very fresh. So there we go, a little bit for five minutes to chill out. I'm just using a pizza. This is a pizza. It's a pizza tray, but I think it works really well in the steamer. Uh, get ready a steaming vessel. Uh, two things we're looking for. One is the eyes to be pop and white colour. And number two, at the thickest part of the fish, the meat should just come off by using a but It should be so soft that it comes out using a spoon. Uh, typically, a fish about this size, you cook about 7 minutes, 8 minutes. Uh, if it doesn't meet those two criteria, go for another minute. Okay, let's check. Okay, you can see the fish is not really, really pop. Uh, and let's see whether the thickest part if the meat is soft. You can see that I can't really go through with my spoon yet. So I'm gonna go for another minute. Uh, because it's a big fish, I'm gonna go for another minute and see how it is. See how the fish pop nicely now. This meat is soft. Oh yeah. Yep, I think that was good. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments uh, what else you want to see from my channel as well. And uh, yeah, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, you can click here to subscribe or you can click here to watch more stuff from my channel. Bye! Happy cooking!